conquer yourself or be conquered. The ancient Greek philosopher Plato once said, the first and greatest victory is to conquer yourself, to be conquered by yourself is of all things most shameful and vile. This quote encapsulates the importance of self-mastery and the dangers of allowing ourselves to be controlled by our negative emotions and impulses. When we are conquered by ourselves, we are at the mercy of our whims and desires. We may act impulsively, without thinking about the consequences. We may say things we regret or do things that harm ourselves or others. We may also become addicted to substances or behaviors that are destructive to our lives. On the other hand, when we conquer ourselves, we are in control of our thoughts, feelings, and actions. We are able to make wise decisions, even when it is difficult. We are able to resist temptation and avoid self-destructive behaviors. We are also able to live our lives in accordance with our values and goals. There are many benefits to conquering ourselves. For one, it allows us to live happier and more fulfilling lives. When we are in control of our own minds and bodies, we are able to pursue our dreams and achieve our goals. We are also able to build strong relationships with others and contribute to our communities in meaningful ways. In addition, conquering ourselves can help us to become more resilient in the face of adversity. When we are able to regulate our emotions and cope with stress effectively, we are less likely to be overwhelmed by challenges. We are also better able to bounce back from setbacks and failures. So, how can we conquer ourselves? Here are a few tips. Become more aware of your thoughts and feelings. The first step to conquering yourself is to become more aware of your thoughts and feelings. This means paying attention to your internal landscape and noticing the patterns in your thinking and behavior. Identify your triggers. Once you are more aware of your thoughts and feelings, you can start to identify your triggers. These are the things that typically lead to negative thoughts, feelings, or behaviors. Once you know your triggers, you can start to develop strategies for avoiding them or coping with them in a healthy way. Challenge your negative thoughts. When you have a negative thought, challenge it. Ask yourself if there is any evidence to support the thought. If there is no evidence, or if the evidence is weak, then try to replace the negative thought with a more realistic and positive one. Develop healthy coping mechanisms. Everyone has negative thoughts and feelings from time to time. It is important to have healthy coping mechanisms in place for dealing with these thoughts and feelings. Some healthy coping mechanisms include exercise, relaxation techniques, and spending time with loved ones. Seek professional help if needed. If you are struggling to conquer yourself on your own, there is no shame in seeking professional help. A therapist can teach you coping skills and help you to identify and challenge your negative thoughts and beliefs. Conquering yourself is not easy, but it is worth it. When you are in control of your own mind and body, you are free to live your life to the fullest.